If you are new to Stamp and Scrap with Mary Nabe, I am Mary coming to you from Columbus, Ohio, and I thank you for being here. Tonight I'm going to show you a new, what is to me a new fun fold card, and it has a belly band, and then it opens like this. Okay, that's the back side. I especially love it because I love designer series papers. You know, uh, many of you that have been following me or are customers of mine or on my team know that I absolutely love working with designer series papers. And this is one of those fun fold cards that um, really shows off our papers. Here is the same card I made with just a few adjustments. And I guess you could say, oops, I'm sticking there. Oh, my tape got just a little bit beyond where I wanted it. Um, I'll have to fix that later. Oh yeah, I see it there. So anyways, um, it's pretty much the same. I just fancied it up with using um, some DSP on the belly band and layering up the belly band and also putting a layer of gold foil behind each of the designer series papers. So on these two, I made them using the, and all of a sudden I just forgot the name of it, Christmas Time is Here products, okay? And you may have seen this already because I have used it in a previous live. Um, your designer series paper basically has three sheets and you get four of each of them in the paper pack. There is um, gold glitter enamel dots and the, what are we calling this? Gold shimmer ribbon that can be used for embellishing your paper crafts. And then it comes with this wonderful stamp set. Um, I love this one simply for stamping and coloring because you can get some really um, beautiful cards with a little bit different looks depending on the um, products you use to color them with. Okay, my, my internet just kind of stopped for a moment here. Let's wait and see what's going to happen. If you're watching and can tell me what's going on with your internet, let me know so I know if it's just me or if it's all of you. Oh, darn. I wonder what will happen if I refresh. Stay with me. I'm just going to try to refresh the video. Okay, there we go. The internet, um, since I've been home, has been very, very slow today. So I'm hoping it's going to cooperate. But anyways, as I was saying, it's a beautiful uh, stamp set. But this is wonderful simply for coloring. If you're somebody who likes to color, you're going to love this part of the stamp set. And if you don't want to color, there's options for you of doing some um, stamping with the photopolymer pieces, okay? And with coloring, of course, you know that you can get very different looks using different coloring materials. For example, you might do all water coloring using the aqua painter and ink refills. You could color with our watercolor pencils. You can use the watercolor pencils and then blend the color with either Stampin' Blends or Aqua Painter. So that's a fun thing for people who like to color, but this is one set. There is a set of coordinating dies as well. Okay. And something wonderful, well, the sad thing about this is this product, this product suite is only around for the month of November. So we only have a few short days left for you to get any of the Christmas time is here um, products. That being said, if you purchase any or all of the Christmas time is here products, which you can see on my website, you will receive um, 
a free tutorial that includes lots of cards, um, some gift boxes, mini gift boxes, gift card holders. Oh, and these are like splendid. I, I'll show you just one really quick, but you'll get a gift card tutorial for this little present gift card holder, which I love. Um, treat bags, all kinds of things. Plus, you will receive an exclusive invitation to my virtual party, Facebook party, on Monday, December 2nd. Um, if there's a chance you can't make it to the virtual party, but you'll want to be there if you can be, because I'll be giving away some prizes and have some wonderful demonstrations. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. But if you can't make it, you'll always be able to view that video um, in that particular Facebook group. So consider that. Okay, moving on. I want to show you how to make this card. And I'm going to be using, instead of just making the same two cards I showed you, we're going to be making the same type of fun fold card, but I'm going to be using the most wonderful time product medley, which I believe I have used um, on a previous Facebook Live. But the product medley is sold as a complete set. I need to put the stamp somewhere safe so I don't lose it. Um, it's sold as a complete set for $70. It includes the stamp set. It includes the dies. It includes the gold star embellishments. You get a roll of this fun, oh, what am I calling it? Gold tinsel trim. Okay. And then you're going to get, and I've been using this product suites or product medley, I should say, this product medley so much. This is what I have left, but you get 48 sheets of designer series paper, beautiful, beautiful images. One side of each paper has um, gold accents. Okay, and the main colors here are real red and old olive with the gold accents. So a very traditional color scheme. You also get um, sheets of stickers that include reindeer and stars, um, trees, these beautiful leaves and berries. And you can see I've used a lot of this, but I still have much left. Um, candy canes, banners, all that. So been lots and lots of fun. And for this, if you purchase, and again, this is sold as a product medley. The other is sold, the first one I showed you, is sold as individual products, or you can buy the bundle or the whole suite. But the most wonderful time uh, products are sold as a product medley for $70. But that $70 is a huge, huge value. I have made numerous cards. Um, what else have I made? Uh, collages, scrapbook pages. I have a wonderful, wonderful little mini memory book. Okay. Places to put some photos, um, journaling, that sort of thing, a pocket. You can do um, some journaling or a surprise letter or note here. Okay. And anybody who purchases the most wonderful time product medley will also get an exclusive invitation to a virtual party, a Facebook party just for you. And I will also have prizes and demonstrations and you will get a free tutorial of all kinds of projects I've made with that product medley. So let's now get started on today's card. I'm starting off with, we'll make two tonight. Let me set that aside. We're going to make two. I'm starting with a piece of cardstock that measures five and a half inches by 12 inches. I've got to look at my little cheat sheet here. And I'm going to score, I am going to pull out the arm on my paper trimmer. 
I'm going to score this piece of cardstock at one and three quarters inches and four and three quarter inches and then seven and three quarter inches. Okay, so I started with five and a half by 12 and I scored at one and three quarter, four and three quarter, and seven and three quarter. Okay, you're going to want to get your bone folder out. As I've said in the past, anytime you're doing a fun fold card, it's really important to burnish those folds very well so your card sits as flat as possible. Typically, fun fold cards are thicker because we have more um, layers from the folding, okay? So be sure and burnish all those folds really well. And then you're going to want to cut a piece of one inch by 11 inch uh, cardstock, or you could use designer series paper. In this case, the designer series paper for this product medley comes in six by six pieces. So I'm sticking with that piece of cardstock. Whereas here on one of my belly bands, I used just cardstock and the other I used DSP layered on cardstock, okay? You'll want to choose three different designer series paper, different but coordinating, okay? Even something like this would work. So just go through your package, um, choose the ones that, you know, appeal to you or you think are a good combination together. This first one that I'm adhering measures, let me double check here before I say it, five and a, whoops. Okay, excuse me just a minute. Five and a quarter by, I wrote down the wrong thing, five and a quarter by four inches. Okay. You're going to skip this one, and on this portion, you're going to have one that measures five and a quarter by two and three quarter inches. I have to say I'm using this for this card, but this is one of my favorite prints in the whole package of DSP. But this is kind of a fun tone-on-tone um, -tone card for this particular one with the prints I've chosen. And I just realized, I think I cut this one a little. Okay, that is off. I don't know what I was doing because I had that cut days ago. I had this prepped days ago, so I'm not sure what I cut right there. So, but what I need is one and a half by five and a quarter. So let me, hopefully I have something that size out of all these wonderful scraps I have left. And I can just go with this. See how much I have left? I mean, this is wonderful after all the projects and cards I've made. Okay, so this should be one and a half by five and a quarter. Sorry about that, ladies. I guess that's what happened when you're making a gazillion things at once. And that's pretty much how my life is. Okay. Now on this one, okay, so this is what we have so far. On this last piece of designer series paper, you want to flip the base over and you're gonna put it on the smallest flap, okay? And if you have a directional paper, make sure that they're all going in the correct direction, okay? That's what we have so far. On this piece, this measures two and three quarters by five and a quarter inches. And let's stamp a little something on there. So I'm gonna go back to my stamp set here and I'm going to use this one. 
get it on a block and that way I won't lose it. And this one says, hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And I'm just stamping with Old Olive. As I said, the two main colors in this designer series paper are uh, Old Olive and Real Red. Okay, now I'm just going to adhere this to the inside of my trifold card. I don't have a good name for this. I feel like there are lots of different trifold cards out there, but if you have a good name for this, let me know. Okay, so that's what I have. So now I'm going to work with this belly band, okay? Again, it's one inch wide, and I started with it being 11 inches long, and I simply, um, cut one end with the banner triple punch, okay? So I'm going to adhere this, whoops, and again, you only want to adhere the belly band onto itself because you want to be able to slide it on and off. This is what holds your card in place for mailing or handing out whatever you like. Okay, from now, for now, then I need to add a sentiment or some kind of other um, stamped image, okay, to embellish that belly band. I'm going to, let's see if this will work. What I want to do is Stamp this also in Old Olive, and I'm just going to use a narrow strip, and before I stamp it, I'm just going to take a look. It's about a half inch size that I need, and I'm not going to worry about the length of the piece just yet, because I'll show you why in just a moment. So I'm cutting a half inch strip of Whisper White and I'll use this to stamp the sentiment. Just like that. And I'm gonna, this is, I'm using Oh Christmas Tree, okay? Now I've cut it a half inch wide and I'm just going to lift it up onto dimensionals and put it onto this gold foil label. The gold foil label is part of the die set that comes with the most wonderful time product medley. Okay, I'm just gonna trim it like that. Okay, and I've got some mini dimensionals that I'm going to use to pop it up. Whoops. You can see I'm about at the end of my sheet of dimensionals. And if you're like me, you're going to be, um, how should I say, rather frugal and use up all bits of your dimensional sheet. When I get to this point, I just start trimming off little pieces around the outside. That way I have zero waste when I'm finished. Okay. All right, just like that. And I'm going to adhere this then to my belly band. I'm going to put it off to the side here. Okay. Now also keep in mind that with this product suite, you get several different sheets of stickers. Okay. Reindeer, stars, um, candy canes, these leaves and berries. So 
I think I want to add, and I've used a lot, I've used up all my sheet. There was another sheet with um, trees as well. So I've used up an awful lot. I think I'm going to go ahead and add, ooh, let's see. I'm going to add this reindeer. Now, some of you may know this trick. I've shared it in the past, but I want this reindeer to go right about here. But this is a sticker. Oh, wait, it could look cute there too. Oh no, I think I'm gonna go here. It is a sticker. So if I put it here, it's gonna stick to everything to avoid that. Oh, I love those hearts. Thank you so much. That makes my heart pound or beat faster. I appreciate it so much. I'm going to add just a couple of these mini dimensionals, maybe two or three, to the body of my deer before I remove the adhesive backings, I'm going to tap my embossing buddy over the back of that sticker. And you can see it creates this powder. And what that powder does is remove or covers up the stickiness of the back of your sticker, okay? So wherever there's powder now, uh, it's not going to stick to the cardstock or your paper. Then go ahead and remove the adhesive backings. Oh, I'm glad you love that tip. I love it too. When I, and I don't remember who I learned that from, but when I learned it, I was like, well, that is absolutely genius. Okay. I'm sure you would agree that it's a, a brilliant, brilliant idea and brilliant tip. So there is my finished card. And what a fun way to send somebody a holiday greeting. Now on this card, I will mention also that um, because of the theme of it with the trees and the reindeer, it does not have to be just for the Christmas holiday. It would great be a great masculine birthday card. It could make a nice um, thinking of you card this time of year. Okay. So let's set that aside and we'll make one more. And be sure if you are watching to comment. I can see lots of you have joined and are watching. I appreciate that so much, but you'll want to be sure and comment because if you comment and the more you comment, you will have the opportunity to win one of the cards I'm making tonight. So let's do another one also featuring the products from the Most Wonderful Time product medley. But we're going to change it up and we're going to step it up as well. So again, I'm starting with a five and a half inch by 12 inch piece of cardstock. I'm going to score that at, make sure I get my ink out of the way. I'm going to score that at one and three quarters inches and I'll score it at four and three quarters. Double check before I do that. Yes. And then I'm going to score at seven and three quarters. Then it's time to pull my bone folder out because with fun folds, you always want to have nice, flat, solid creases. So burnish those folds very well with your bone folder. Okay, and if I remember correctly, I cut this one wrong. So let me fix that right away before we go any further. This should be one and a half inch. So my three pieces of designer series papers are all going to be five and a quarter inches tall. The largest one will be four inches wide. The next one will be two and three quarters. And then the last one, the smallest one will measure one and a half inches across. Okay. Before I had, 
adhere those to my card or not adhering those to my card, I'm going to adhere them to gold foil pieces instead. This is one simple way of um, how to, stepping up your card, making it more of a wow card, okay? And it's also a great way to um, show off the gold highlights that are already in the designer series paper. It just draws more attention to those gold accents. Okay, don't you love this one with all the pretty holiday presents? That too is one of my favorite prints in this beautiful designer series paper. Nope, cut that wrong as well. This should be one and five eighths. Okay. And again, if you're using paper that is directional, make sure you are paying attention to that as you are putting your card together. It certainly would not be pleasing to us if we got all finished and then realized um, we had a direction of one or more of our designer series papers going the wrong way. How many of you are traveling this Thanksgiving week? I will be traveling. I'll be spending um, Thanksgiving Day with Andrea and Emily and their dad, um, Peter. So I'm, I'm very blessed and very fortunate that our family is able to um, get together like this for the holidays despite divorce. I appreciate that Peter and I are very respectful and kind to one another. Um, and we both value our family time as well so i'm looking forward to that but it's just a quick trip to lima just a couple hours away from me but it should be nice and i don't have to do any cooking i'm simply taking pumpkin pie so i'm happy about that too and if you are traveling this holiday please 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 be safe there's lots of crazy weather going on and various parts of the country so please be safe take your time it's more important that you get there not that you get there in a hurry how many of you are cooking or perhaps baking okay i'm not sure what's going on but i don't seem to be seeing any more comments for quite a while i'm not quite sure why if somebody can throw out a few comments that would be awesome so i know what's going on. I am seeing lots of emojis, hearts, and thumbs up. I appreciate that. Okay, so there is my card so far. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the same message inside, except this time, well, no, I'm not going to use my real red because it's not sitting right in front of me. I will use the old olive. And I probably should have stamped this before I adhered it, right? Isn't that usually my rule of thumb? Play it safe and uh, stamp before you adhere, right? Okay. So now I'm going to add my belly band. Again, I used a one inch strip. And I think I started with a 12 inch one on this. Your The length may vary depending on how you finish off the front. Um, if you want this, um, a banner end like this, you know, depending on where you're going to have that banner cut will determine the length as well. But 
primarily your strip is going to be about I would say anywhere from 9 to 11 inches 9 to 12 inches you might start with but of course when you make the banner cut or finish off the end in some other way um, you are taking off some length alrighty and I prefer not to put any score lines on my belly band the reason is I can score what I think it should be but the thickness of my card especially like here this is probably adding about an eighth of an inch so if I want my court score lines to land just right they might be off a little bit because of the thickness of my card okay everybody understand that I'm sure if you have any questions let me know I'm not seeing any comments roll out I don't know why that is I'm not sure if it's because you're not commenting or they're just not showing up I've never had that happen where comments just stop showing up okay I think that I want this um, banner cut to stand out a little bit more so I'm going to just grab a one inch scrap of gold foil I think this is one inch yes it is and I'll just use my triple banner punch punch the banner end actually I know somebody who saves these pieces and she uses them as little embellishments on her cards in ways like that or maybe she'd put it over here like this okay so something to think about maybe I'll set that there and use it on another card and I only need a very small piece of this so I'll just snip it off I'll add some adhesive and I'm just gonna have a little bit of that gold foil sticking out from the real red don't forget I need you to comment and hopefully I'll see the comments because I use the um, commentpicker.com to choose the random winner for one of the cards we're making tonight Okay. Do you see how adding that little bit of gold really um, makes this pop? Now I can add something here. Um, I could add some little stars if I want. I can add this fun tinsel trim. And I love how it just curls like that. Isn't that fun? Let me see here. I think... Where are the stamps? I think I am going to, you know, the comfort and joy, the sentiments aren't just grabbing me right here. Let me see. Oh, let's use this. I guess I've used these so many times that I was looking for something different and maybe something bigger. So I'm going to use Marion Bright. I haven't even used the stamp yet. It's a virgin stamp, we'll call it. <laughs> many people will use their red rubber stamps without the labels on I have always liked to put my labels on I'm very much a visual person so um, having the label on when I stamp really makes a big difference for me 
I'm going to stamp this on white cardstock. I'll let that dry a moment and I'm going to punch it out with my two and a quarter inch circle. Oh yes, I like how that stands out. What do you think? Now you can see there are all these little um, diamond shapes on there. I think I will, in addition to that, I will add some of my gold star embellishments. Now on this, remember, you do not want to put adhesive or dimensionals all the way around your circle. We only want to adhere to the belly band. So I'm just going to put a couple of these dimensional pieces that I've cut from the edges. On, right onto the belly band. I'm going to then place that. I feel like I need to do something with this trim and I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I think what I'm, let me try just making a simple bow, but it'll be super curly because it is curly tinsel trim. And I don't know, should I put it? I don't know what to do with this. Maybe I'm not gonna like it on here. Or maybe what I should have done is just adhered, let me take the bow apart and see how this looks. Still with me? You know how I am. Sometimes I, I start out with a plan, but then I change it up, right? That's just how I that's just how I roll. Okay, I oh I like that better. Okay. There. Okay, I do like that better. And you can trim them shorter or longer. This reminds me of the um like gold tinsel trim we used to put on Christmas trees back in the day. I'm going to add a few gold stars. I'm not sure if you all know, but um, the name of my team is Mary Stampers, M-E-R-R-Y, sort of a play on my name, Mary, and the fact that I just, love Christmas. I've been known to go a little crazy with um, Christmas decorating. However, that's not the case this year because I haven't even started because I'm getting my basement finished so I can expand my stamping business. And therefore, all of the big things, everything that I need down there in the basement um, or what was already down there that will stay down there is just crammed into what is the unfinished space and there's no possible way I can get to my Christmas things until the basement is finished and I can pull all those things back out. So it's a little bit hard for me uh, right now not being able to get to my Christmas decorations, but hey, getting my basement finished is a really great thing and being able to expand my business is a really great thing. Okay, so there you have it. Which do you like better or do you like them both equally? I personally, and I usually go for reds, but I personally think I like both of these equally simply because they have are two um, very different themes, both great for the holidays but this one I can use for other purposes as well, just by switching out um, the sentiment. Okay, so there you have that. And again, if you have a great name for these trifold cards, let me know. 
They are lots of fun to make. They are very easy. I will be putting the dimensions on a blog post, but of course you can always go back and view this video again here on Stamp and Scrap with Mary Nabe. Um, but look forward to seeing them on a blog post as well with dimensions as well. Okay, I have some exciting news. Some of you have may have already read that um, Stampin' Up! has put out their numbers of top achievers while we were doing on stage. Uh, many of those top achievers were recognized at the various events around the world. And then on Tuesday, they had announced an expanded list. And I am very, very happy and quite humbled to say that I have been working very hard to build my business back up to what it was a few years ago uh, before I went through some changes in my life. And... I am getting there. I placed number 91, demonstrator number 91 in the United States, and I placed demonstrator number 148 globally. And globally, we have more than 52,000 demonstrators. So I'm very, very proud of myself for placing at number 148 globally. Uh, last year, I didn't make that list. So this is a great big deal for me, and I'm just gonna keep working harder and keep doing everything I can to continue to build my business and continue to build my team and help my team members um, to expand in any way they wish to. And I'm just very pleased and very humbled, and I want to thank all of you for being a part of my Stampin' Up! journey. You are the first to hear this announcement that in appreciation and gratitude for all of you who support me in this wonderful Stampin' Up! business of mine, I am going to be offering free shipping for five days. That will begin on Thanksgiving Day. It will include uh, Thanksgiving Day, Black Friday, um, what do they call? Oh, Small Business Saturday, Super Sunday, which I think I just made up, or Sensational Sunday or Stamping Sunday, but Sunday will be included, and then Cyber Monday. So for five days straight, I personally will be offering free shipping on all orders of $30 or more. You can place your order with me directly through um, email or by calling me, or you can place your order online at marynave.stampinup.net using the November host code. And I will have, um, actually, I might be able to just carry this host code over for a couple days. Um, but either way, either the November host code, or you can use my December host code when I post that on December 1st but you will get free shipping. If you contact me with your order, <clears throat> we can take care of the free shipping right then and there. If you want to place your order online, what I will do is PayPal you the shipping that you paid on that online order. If you do not have PayPal, I will mail you a check for the amount of shipping that you paid on your order. So either way, you will get free shipping for those five days on all orders of $30 or more. I will be sending out an email and I will be giving out reminders on Facebook, etc. But um, I wanted to say it here first. Um, it's just kind of nice to be able to um, share that with people live, so to speak. But please do comment. Again, I don't know why comments are not showing up for me tonight, so I'm hoping that when this live video ends and I refresh the browser, it will show the comments. 
I'm not sure what's going on. But anyways, that's it for tonight. I hope you have been inspired to make some trifold cards of your own. And please share this video with others. And if you already shared, I thank you. And you can share again afterwards at any time or anytime you're viewing my videos and blog po posts. Sharing helps greatly. Uh, last Facebook Live I did, I announced that my uh, blog numbers were over 4,000 views for 30 days, which was the most I had ever achieved. And I've been watching the numbers this week and they continue to go up. Um, and I think very, very soon with your help, I'll be getting over 5,000 views on that 30 day increment. And it's just gonna keep going up from there. So um, please know that I appreciate you sharing and I appreciate you viewing and I appreciate you shopping with me. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you will take advantage of my free shipping five days of free shipping. If there is anything I can do to help you in your stampi stamping and paper crafting, please let me know. And until I see you next time, happy Thanksgiving. Be safe, enjoy your families and your friends, and count your many blessings.